Hello everybody, I'm Myriad Mike, and welcome to the very first episode of Dungeon of the Endless. Now this is a game I got a hold of not too long ago. I've already taken a crack or two at it. Uh, gone through and done a little bit of it, and I just had to play it for you guys, just for you to check it out. Uh, it's kind of this... Well, it's obviously got a very pixelated look to it. Uh, fun little idea. You know, you're escaping from whatever the hell was attacking you. Now, I'm going to be perfectly blunt with you. I'm going to try to get to the end of this. And this game is fucking hard. So, ignore these difficulty settings. They're bullshit. Uh, I think I finally beat it for my first time after, I gotta say, like, 15 attempts or so. So, it's been... Because, I mean, I've unlocked almost every character. I haven't got this guy yet. I haven't found him yet, but... Uh, you know, I've got my favorites that I like to roll around with. So, let's see here. Who do I want to use this time? Okay, well... This guy's one of my favorites just because, you know, as you're going through the game, there's a lot of things I'm going to explain to you as we go through this, but one of the main things you got to look at is actually this stat right down here, which is wit. Because it is fucking amazing! It helps with a lot of stuff. Uh, who else did I use? Right, so I wanted somebody who could help defend... And it's this cigarette-smoking badass chick right here with a heavy gun. She's also got a decent wit. I wonder if I could do something better. Ah, eh, I'll stick with her. I really like her just because she gets uh, to able to do some things that are pretty nice too. So, not not an over you know not an overwhelming amount of physical attack power, but I make up for it in other ways. Uh, like I said, I've beat it with the escape pod already. Um, these other pods are a lot more difficult. Uh, let's see here. Heroes have many more hit points. Uh, cost of healing reduced. No auto heal at the end of turn. That's annoying. Uh, most in-game items are replaced with drugs that provide buffs with some side effects. Oh yeah, that's wonderful. And health regen bonuses from passive skills are replaced by defense bonuses. So yeah, screw that. We're just gonna we're gonna go do one whole playthrough. I'm gonna see if I can make it to the end a second time. Make sure it wasn't like a fucking fluke. Uh, yeah, because this is misleading. This is more like normal, and this is more like, fuck you, it's hard. At least that's the way I feel about it. So here we go. How did we not die? Alright, well that's one badass escape pod, but... Alright, so here we are. The Dungeon of the Endless. Spoilers, there's actually an end. Unless you're playing Endless Mode. So, as you're going through, you're going to go through it. You're going to open up these new rooms. And when you do, you can usually click the middle mouse button to... Look at that. Light it up. Once it's lit up, you're able to build uh, different types of modules. For us, these three things up here are pretty important. You've got your industry, you have your science, and you have your food. Food will be used to upgrade your characters and often sometimes buy stuff from merchants. Science will be used to research science and sometimes buy stuff from merchants. And lastly, industry is what you use to basically build everything physical. So, we're going to start with an industry generator. Take my chicky up here. I, go, I can't level her yet. I can't level her soon, though. So, let's go ahead and open this door. So, the reason I have him open all the doors is he's got pretty high wit you actually get more bonus uh, light, which is this stuff here, or, or what do they call it light? Dust, sorry. You get more bonus dust uh, every time you open a door if you've got somebody with high wit. So I'm going to take him up here. Can I, I think she gets that. No, that's not the first thing she gets. Damn, that's overclocked. So what this does is when I can lay, if I lay down turrets and stuff in a room, which I might do here eventually, uh, she will make them more powerful, which... Now, let's go ahead and do a... I'm going to do a second industry. Because I feel like we need as much of that as we can, especially at the start. And you'll also notice I have a tendency to go left a lot. It's just a thing I do. Science! Nothing worth doing here. I've installed some of the... Uh, a lot of the... Expansions, so there's new stuff here at the Biomass Factory. Gaze one 
industry for every six monsters killed divided by the number of players doesn't work while the crystal is being moved convert you to a dead body oh that's kind of neat might be okay late game not incredibly useful early game i like that room up oh here we go enemies just backtrack them into here and we'll both shoot these motherfuckers down you've got to get sparkly bits right here Yep, and we even got some more dust just from killing those guys, so that's cool. Alrighty. I'm hoping this run just goes as well as my last one, because my last one probably couldn't have went any better. Um, I mean, I've gotten close before. I've gotten to, like, the 11th floor a few times. Um, there's only 12 floors to actually get through, which uh, you can easily see when you're going out in between floors. It'll show you exactly how many floors there are. So, come on, I couldn't get one more bonus light. Bah! Alright, I'm going to take these two over here. Uh, you can quickly select between them by hitting the number keys, depending on their number position at the top. I think you can hold down to control and actually change those numbers up, but I wouldn't want to. Or you can hit Q and grab everybody at once. I'm just going to use them one at a time at the current rate. Go ahead and plop down. I mean, since we've already got science shit going on, might as well plop down some science. What do we got over here again? Nothing yet. Nothing yet. But give it time. Continue me left. She's just over here smoking away. Because she's smoking hot. Probably not. I don't know which. It's really hard to tell with these graphics. But she's got a little boob jiggle. Yeah, little boob jiggle. Oh, there we go. She does carry a big gun, which is uh, you know always nice. It's definitely what I like in my women. Big guns. Alrighty, here we go. Another brew, another dollar, another day earned. Here we go. Now, I can't build any more of these because they start out at a cost of 20. But uh, as we go up here, uh, every one we build increases the cost by 5. So i got to wait a, just one more turn. Because as a... Oh. That's something else I didn't explain. These little pluses up here. Basically, every time you open a door, that's how much you're getting. So your turn, you basically take a turn and by opening a door. Essentially, that's the best way to do it. Any right places that are not lit up by dust have a chance of spawning monsters. Hey, look, we found the exit already. We're not quite ready to go yet, though. Because it's good to go ahead and, you know, max out your resources here as much as possible. So let's see. Can I research anything different? I really like the clay more. It's not that good. Huh. Might risk it. This is also crap stuff. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna waste any more doing that. Oh, well, I guess I could. No, I'll light up the next room. I'll just leave her in there. You know what? I will actually build couple of turrets to back her up. She should be fine with that. Hopefully. Oh, hell yeah! Shops are really cool in this game. She can go buy all this equipment for your little dudes. And he wants to spend it all with food. Fine. It's actually a pretty decent gun to get early game. That's not bad. Normally would prefer to level, but you know what? Spare bag. Oof. I'm going to hold on to that food. I'm going to light this room up, though. Leave her where she's at. I think she's okay. Y'all ready to make some bacon? Uh, that is not bacon. That is a bad guy. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta use your hammer to, uh, to, to, to make a bad guy suffer in the most glorious of life. Because, uh, you know what it was? It was hammer time. Uh, I did a funny. All right, let's just knock that room out of the way. So now enemies will only come from these two spots currently. Uh, I don't really feel like setting up other defenses and things of that nature, so we're just gonna press forward. Not what I was looking for, but we got enemies incoming, so let's go ahead and give her back up. She's doing okay at the moment. In fact, I think she's going to be just fine by the time get there. Yep, see? That's my girl. That's my girl. She does all the stuff. Apparently she's a... 
Like, there's backstories for all these characters and stuff uh, as you're going along through the game. Oh, okay, we've opened the last door of the dungeon. People are probably screaming at me at home, like, Why haven't you researched anything? I just didn't care for any of the stuff in that research. It's not my playstyle. I think I'm okay. I don't, don't have to heal. Alright, good. Adult. Now that we're here and we're done, I'm going to basically turn off the lights in a few of these places. And then light up some places on the way. Actually, you know what? We'll just light that up. That up. That's a bigger room. Basically, now all I got to do is go grab this crystal. And run like a bitch for the exit. Uh-oh. Music's changed. They've summoned Bowser! Good god, I forgot how slow he was at the beginning of the game. I might have made a mistake here. Help! Help! Give him help! Also, you can use the mouse wheel to scroll in and out, basically, to, uh... Alright, let's go ahead and go. To, to, to see this kind of dotted format, which you can still control everything from that, which sometimes is helpful. At least I find it helpful. See, there we go. We got from floor 1 to floor 2, and this goes all the way up to 12. If you get past floor 12, well, then you're free. Oh, you're free. Uh, you'll know what I mean. Actually, I totally missed that dialogue there. I was too busy chatting it up. But we get to take our resources with us to the next stage, except for the dust. The dust does not come with us no matter what. Unless you find maybe an item that will bring it with you. Alright, let's go ahead and... Let's level him. I like to have basically... I like to try to have people the same level of the floor they're on. Uh, not that that really matters too much. Just some ocd -ish bullshit that I do. I kind of like this room. Uh, let's do industry generator. Because I need all the industry I can get. Oh, hell yes. Two of these in a row. Ah, never mind. That's apparently science. None of this is what I want. Except for the mechanical pal. I forgot about him. Man, was he in the last one? I'm suddenly going to have much regret if he was in the last one. Alright, here we go. Carrying on. Oh, look, guys. Come on, bad guy. Let's go over here. I have a bad habit of leaving her behind because a lot of times I end up using her for another ability, which I'll kind of explain once we get to it, but we haven't quite got to it yet, so. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just not getting lucky with the light on this one. Kind of wish there was like a speed up for the turn so I could kind of be like, go, oh, okay, well, let's just rush this. We know how this is going to turn out. Yeah. Oh, hey, merchant. Sweet. And mechanical pal is done. Let's see here. He deals in food. Of course he does, because you know what? I don't have much of food. Defense, HP, attack cooldown lowered, though. Really not particularly fond of any of these items right now, because items are, like, not what we should be dealing with. I should be trying to get levels. So if I get her... Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, there we go. Now we're going to get some industry. Alright, well, carry it on. Speaking of industry, let's throw down some prisoner prods here. And our mechanical pal, which is going to make us get more stuff here. He basically acts like an operator. Which I'll explain that as we go. Okay. Next thing. These rooms with these crystals like this. These crystals have special little abilities. And this one says heroes in floor, which when it refers to a floor, it means the whole area. Uh, health regen plus 20 in a room without monsters. Heroes in room... Uh, on the floor have zero defense? Well, fuck you. Alright, so now it says estimated number of doors remaining five, which means you have to open up five doors for that to go away. I am just not getting the dust. I'm not having any of the dust. Okay, well, that was actually moderately helpful. However, I guess she's probably okay. go. Now I've got enough to light up two rooms. See, I kind of like this area to be my 
I, I usually have one area designated to basically killing mobs and s farming for more uh, dust. Don't usually like to have it be an area that I'm getting science uh, stuff done in, but it's gonna. I'm just gonna have to deal with what I got. So that'll be fine. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and research something else. See if I can research something else. Oh, hell yes. Coming straight to Prisoner Prod 3. I will need the shop leader, but I can probably go one time without it. Uh, because the shop is going to be really useful for some other stuff. See, we're kind of doing okay. We're doing okay. But I am going to go ahead and put a science dude down. I'm one of those people that really likes to try to get the science stuff done early. My last playthrough, I had the highest level of these guys by the time I was in my third area. I was super lucky. Oh, treasure chest. What do we got? Bounce out of your prison uniform. Add it to your inventory. Alrighty. This is going to give me three defense. Well, for now, I actually will throw it on her. Let her, cause she's kind of our standing tank at the moment. Uh, no. No. We'll just keep doing light this way up. Leave those. No, damn it. I didn't want to move her. No. Now that she's moved, she has to wait another door turn for her to activate her ability, which sucks a little bit, but that's okay. See, that went from 12 suddenly to 16. Oh, a new recruit. I kind of want to get this guy. I just don't have the food for him yet. Sorry, buddy. I was focusing on the sizznitz, sizznitz, the science. He's not bad. Oh, goody. Prisoner Proud 3 is done. Hey, buddy, I gotta help defend you. I don't want you to die. They can go on past. Forget them. It's okay. I got your back, buddy. I got your back. Prisoner Prods, do your thing. Murderize them. Totally murderize them. All the murderizing. Alright. I have 36. I got some more light. Okay, see? Industrial Generator 3. I, I gotta work on that. Man. Uh, I wish this thing was gone. I have to wait one more door. Let's see. I'm gonna have to go this way. I don't like to... I like to clear out a side before I go to another side, so... I'm sure there's reasons not to do what I do, but... I can't think of any. Ooh, so these little things like here give different bonuses, so that one gives me industry stuff. I think she's totally got that area if they just don't die from... Yeah. That. Anyway. Kind of cute. Oh, there's some guys. And he's dead. Oh, more, more. Any, anybody else? Okay, there we go. There was a little... Whatever sound. That's uh, actually indicating that you are... Damn it! You need 39? Fine. Oh my god. You suck! Speaking of which... I'm actually going to run down here real quick and make sure there's no dust in this room. Because when mobs die, they'll just lay the dust on the ground and you won't be able to go in the room physically to pick it up. There was no dust. Well, that was... I was wasting everybody's time intentionally, apparently. And as far as episodes go, I think that uh, I'm going to actually run these a little bit longer. Because, uh, Definitely looking for... Yeah. Well, there's the exit. That's a good thing. Hey, buddy. Guess what? I don't have... An oh, I do have enough. 39. Welcome to the party. Alright, cool. He's uh, he's going to be another attacker. He's not as witty as I'd like. I, I prefer characters with high wit. It just really does make a difference when you're playing. Uh, I think we're okay for the most part. However, I am going to go down here and start researching the Industrial 3. Because we haven't opened the last door yet. And even if it says you have to have, like, three doors in order to research something, as soon as you... Oh, it's 65. Crap. As soon as you open up a third door... You know what? She's going to move up here. You're going to... That area is probably perfectly safe on its own. You're going to go here, and we're going to open that door and pray it's not the last door of the dungeon. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna drop a mechanical buddy here to increase that 
science by a little bit more. Alright, come some more peeps. What? How'd you get past me? No. Bad bomb. If they get past you, they'll attack this core, and it will deal damage to your dust reserves, which sucks. The big one, but, you know, it is what it is. Alright, this is now done. Okay, let's... It's gonna give me 11, and it's 56. I am so fucking close. That better not be the last door of the dungeon, or I'm gonna be a very sad panda. Son of a bitch! Oh well. You win some, you lose some. Alright, let's just defend this last wave, and then we'll deal with whatever. So now I want to. I typically like to make a clear path to my exit, which I think I have almost enough dust to just do that. Uh, whatever, we'll do that. And because I would, the way I usually build, because I usually end up going the wrong way anyway. Now when I'm running away, they're gonna have to run through all this shit that I've built to defend with the whole time. So yeah, I'm still really disappointed in the fact that I don't have that. But you know what? We still got a decent. Okay, whatever. So. His speed's 32, his speed's 32, so I'll just stick with my boy. Since he's the one I typically run with. Picking up the crystal, running for our lives! All these exclamation points that show where the bombs are spawning. It's even telling me the waves down here, so. I get past shit, boys! I'm getting straight home! Yeah, you, you, you're, you're, you're not doing it now, there, 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 boy. You're, you're not doing it. Not at all. Not, 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 not a little. Not even a little. Bye bye So once he gets up here, and everybody's on the pad, because you can actually leave early without people, so... But luckily, the guy's gonna run slow anyway, so... My strategy seems to work okay. So... You know, you know it didn't look like this at all on the brochures. <laughs> Was this your vacation spot? All right, so you know what? We got two floors cleared. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, maybe cut this to like two floors at a time. So I'm Married Mike. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you like this game or you wanna see more of it, just hit the subscribe button or hit that notification or the notification bell at the top. That'll also get it to where you can uh, easily follow my stuff and keep along for the ride. See you next time. I'm Married Mike. Peace.